Hey everyone, hope you are doing well. I recently uh, saw on LinkedIn some stuff about Mesh GPT and uh, kind of noted it down to dig into it later. And then over the weekend, I did have a chance to read into it. I'll share this link along with some other links I found below in the description if you want to check those out and read more about this. But it seems really cool. It it uh, from what I have read is supposed to be better. So Mesh GPT is supposed to be better than other 3D um, uh, models that generate, or sorry, other models that generate 3D shapes. And it's supposed to be better, faster. It's supposed to create higher quality elements. Now I haven't tested any of this. If you scroll down below, they actually show comparisons of the different models and their outputs. And you can see theirs is pretty clean. And so um, you could type in something and then create the geometry. And what's supposed to be also good about this model is that tweaking it and changing it is supposed to be easier than other ones. Uh, again, though, I'd, I really have to get my hands on, on things like that to really see how that works. Uh, but that's kind of what I read. And, but yeah, this has a lot of cool information. I'm kind of interested more on the MEP application of this. Like, how can this be applied to MEP design? It'll be cool to see if something can be created. I mean, I could see those pieces of furniture being like little systems because you have like a desk with uh, doorknobs, you've got little doors and handle, you know, all sorts of things that kind of bring it all together. And I could see that being applied to like an MEP system or like an HVAC system and all of the different elements that kind of come together to make those. Uh, and the shapes wouldn't be terribly complicated more than, than what we're seeing with the furniture. Uh, but I would be interested to hear how folks in, you know, interior design or that are doing architecture, you know, see a tool like this evolving or how you would use something like this if it was currently available. And actually, I haven't messed with this. I have it on my list to dig in the, into this at some point. But they have an implementation of this uh, with PyTorch that I think you can take and use and, like, uh, kind of deploy... Uh, locally not a hundred percent sure on that but this is the github i'll post the link below as well let me know if you do that because that would be super cool um something like this would be a lot of fun to test and i'd love to know if 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 you do that and what the outcomes are and if i do that i will definitely uh share about it i still need to circle back on the nine stuff and do the next video there uh but I might, after that, uh, jump into this and see if it's something I can actually deploy locally and just play around with and, and test. Maybe see if there's some things I can do with MEP-related stuff. That would be super cool. So, anyways, I just wanted to highlight this if you haven't heard, it, heard about it yet. It's, it's super cool. Things like this, I think, are going to continue to evolve uh, and continue to get better. This is like, I mean, what, there was like six of them down here? So we've got six different models that generate 3D shapes. Like these are we're probably gonna get a seventh. We're probably gonna get an eighth. We're probably going to get a next gen version of Mesh GPT that's quicker and even even better um, you know with its outputs. So and it'll probably be next week. I mean who knows? The it just seems like the pace of things is is just moving so quickly. Uh, you know, every week there's some really cool advancement or some article talking about something. So, anyways, just again, just wanted to share this. Love to hear your thoughts. Comment below. And thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.